Hi, my name is Matt Philippi, and this is a demo on how to connect Tableau Desktop Professional to Google BigQuery. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn, uh, CPA and Business Intelligence Architect, also on YouTube. Uh, the actual, it's MDSS98108, but you can go to YouTube and search my name. And then on Tableau Public as well. So here I am on LinkedIn, uh, on YouTube, Tableau Connector, AWS, Azure and then Tableau Public. So for this demonstration, uh, Google Cloud has their data warehouse service called BigQuery, and we're gonna connect to that uh, from Tableau. Four steps. Uh, we're gonna log into the cloud platform. You're gonna need a Google uh, Cloud account to log in in order to do this. Without it, you won't be able to connect from Tableau. We're then going to connect to BigQuery, uh, the public data set NYC TLC Green, which is uh, taxi cab fares. We're actually going to do a data filter just to check for fares over $1,000. We'll do that at the data connection, and then we're going to create a dashboard. Since we will be using cloud services, uh, I always like to give a warning on security and cost. It's your responsibility to understand those and learn those. I may not be using best practices uh, for either of those. In this case, Google BigQuery will be using a public data set and I won't be actually setting up a billing account. So this should cost nothing, but nevertheless, it's still your responsibility uh, to learn it and understand it. Step one, Google Cloud Platform. We're going to log into that. And to do that, um, Google, I have Google, Google Cloud. And I'm going to go right here and sign in. Okay. I'm going to put in my account. And then my password. Okay. And then I have two multi-factor authentication and I strongly recommend that you do that as well. If you don't, I think you're crazy. And then there, I am logged in and I'm gonna to go to the console right here. And then scroll on down to Google BigQuery. loading. Now, we're not going to actually create tables here. I don't have a billing account set up, but this is just a login. A, you need an account in Google Cloud, otherwise you won't be able to connect from Tableau. And B, this is so we can take a look at the public data sets and see what's in here and when we go to connect to Tableau later. Step two, time to connect from Tableau. So I am logged into Tableau. Remember, you have to have Tableau Desktop Professional. So to a server, more. I already have Google BigQuery up here, but you can find Google BigQuery. And it's really simple. It's just going to ask you for your Google Cloud login. Password again. Okay. Multi-factor authentication. Again, same exact steps we just did. And it's gonna prompt me here to say, hey, would you, yes, yes, okay. And now we are logged in to Google BigQuery here. Okay, now that we're logged in here, we're gonna leave the billing project, then we have the project select project right here so enter database names remember we logged into google bigquery here and we're going to want to log into this nyc-tlc data set so select a project nyc-tlc okay we hit the plus sign okay great now it's going to give me a couple data sets here so so we have green and yellow Remember down here, we had green and yellow. So I'm just gonna pick green. And then there's two tables. Okay. 
and for our purposes we're going to use uh, 2015. So I'll drag that up here. And then we're ready. Step three, I'm going to put a filter in at the data connection level. Obviously this is totally optional, but um, I don't really want to, there's, I'm not sure how many thousands of rows of data are in here, but it's taxi fare, so it's a lot of data. So I have tri TRIPS 2015 here. I'm just going to add a filter at the connection level, and then I'm going to use the fair amount. And I'm just curious to know fares that are, let's see here, greater than $1,000. Why don't we just say greater than $1,000? Something like that. I'll just type it in here. Okay, greater than a thousand dollars. Okay. Now it's going to update for me. We hit update. Okay, and you can see the fair amount right here. So there's, I think, 10, 14 fares that were greater than a thousand dollars. So this is optional, but I just wanted to whittle down the data sets. Okay, time to create a dashboard. So remember we filtered out only fares over a thousand dollars. So you can see fare a thousand, eighteen hundred dollars, trip distance three hundred and seventy-eight miles, presumably. Here's a fare for twelve hundred bucks, four hundred and thirty-nine miles. So I was just curious uh, where the drop-off longitude and latitude were. So presumably these are all fares, taxi fares picked up in New York City. These are all fares greater than a thousand. So I'm going to highlight the latitude and the longitude. And then we'll create a, uh, a circle map. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, my mistake there. Why don't we do this? Because we don't want we don't want the average there. Okay. So if I highlight over here, maybe in the tooltip, I'll say, what's the fair amount? And then what's the trip distance in the tooltip? Okay. So you can see right here. Okay. So here's where the person was dropped off. This is in New York. Uh, this all looks like it's in Brooklyn, I guess. There's Manhattan. So this is where they were dropped off. Trip distance, 375 miles. Fair amount, $1,900. So maybe they were round trips. They got picked up in New York City and then they went somewhere and then they came back. Or so this trip distance is only 104 miles. Fair $1,000. Trip distance zero. Fair amount $2,000. So hard to know what's going on there. But interesting data set. Um, and that's how we connect a BigQuery. And one other thing I was going to say is if I refresh this, cool thing about BigQuery is, is so remember Tableau is creating SQL queries on the fly. So depending what your data filter is, what you drag and drop, and it actually shows you what Tableau is submitting to the query engine, to the BigQuery query engine. So here's the queries that I did right here. So all the dragging and dropping, this is what was sent to Tableau. Pretty cool. And that is four easy steps on how to connect Tableau Desktop Professional to Google BigQuery. One of the simpler demos I've done in the uh, Tableau Desktop Professional Connector series that I am working on. Uh, feel free to reach out, out to me on LinkedIn. You can send me a connection request. If you do, just let me know a little bit about yourself and how you found me and I will reply, tell you a little bit about myself. I am located in the Seattle area and I'll am open to all sorts of business intelligence opportunities. Uh, I'm on YouTube. If you like this, please subscribe on YouTube to my channel. I have a Tableau connector series and uh, some demos on AWS and Azure, and also I am on Tableau Public. Thank you for watching.